Hello guys, and welcome to Structures Pro. Uh, this is the continuation of uh, this design. We uh, in today's class we will be we will be doing a member design. We'll be talking about design parameters, creating them and assigning them to these el the elements here. This uh, structure we started it from scratch, started from the beginning. The modeling assignment of property which was actually done in my previous video so if you have not uh, watched them I urge you to go and do that immediately so that you clearly understand where we started from and where we are heading to we have also done the loading of this structure check you see the self weight the so that the primary loads of them have been applied yeah the wind load is applied we have also done load combination using American code temperature load is there as well then you see load combinations if you have missed the last class i took my time to do all this in separate videos so check my channel structures pro browse through my videos and watch all we have also analyzed the structure and everything went well Yeah, this is the analysis. We have zero error and zero warning. So the next thing is to do our design. You can see where I clicked design. So in this design, we are going to use American code EISC 360 16. Make sure it's active. If you don't want to use this code, you can actually select from the list of codes that are here. You also have a uh, Eurocode 3, is here for Eurocode. If you want to use Eurocode, other codes are here as well. But in this particular design, we'll be doing using American code. We are going to use American code in this particular design. If you need me to uh, do it, Maybe a fresh one or another project with your code you can request my whatsapp link is in my channel my twitter link is there all my social media link are there just chat me up through whatsapp and make your request and that will be done for you okay so the first thing we do is uh, we create we click on commands we do member takeoff member takeoff is uh, for the software to automatically calculate the the quantity of these sections we have assigned to this structure the column members the beam members according to their section property yes we click on add we close we select it and assign it to view assign click assign select yes so that one has been assigned okay the next one we click on define parameters we are going to select um, fy ld This one will be two seven five two seven five. You have to you have to take note of the units because this is Clinton per meter square. I'm going to convert it from Newton per millimeter square to kilonewton per meter square, which is this. You click on add. You also add FU. 
if you the same thing four ten zero 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 click on add then we locate uh, track two track two on that track see track zero is print the design output at the minimum detail level track one is print the design output at intermediate detail level track two is print the design output at maximum detail level so i need my own at maximum detail level then ratio ratio is one so this one means a permissible ratio of actual load to section capacity because we're going to have a utilization ratio which is the the capacity of of, of a member upon the load that is being carried or rather the load that is coming to a member upon the capacity so when you divide the load coming upon a member by its capacity and the outcome gives you a value equal to one it means the, the load is a uh, the, the member is failing yes that means the load is more than the strength of the member but if you get something anything less than one means the the member can actually carry it yes but from here you can you can set your failure limit to 0 0.9 here yes that means in the design if the if the the, the 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 member capacity the utilization ratio is 9 0 0.9 it will it will give you a failure output a failed result so uh, I, I would recommend you just put one there some project requirements um, might specify a particular permissible uh, ratio of actual load you know some projects like the one i've done before the specified 0 0.8 so you just put 0 0.8 there. Any member that 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 the, the, the utilization ratio is up to 0 0.8 automatically it returns failure message. So they don't want their member to be to have high ratios. But in this design, I'm going to use one. We click on add, then we close it. We are going to assign this to all to affect all of them assign this one to all as well assign this to all as well assign this to all as well to all we go back to define properties define parameters sorry we check uh, locate um, kx effective length factor for flexural torsional buckling default is one just use one ky use one kz use one Then the next one is uh, we locate LX LX length of fragile torsional buckling. This one will be applied to column. My column is 2.3 2.3 meters. We we'll apply them to my column 2.3 2.3 Yes, that's for column. I will do the same for the beams. My beam is uh, two point four, two point four. Two 
for my brazings 3.3 3.3 this 3.3 is the length of the brazing all the values I'm typing here they represent the length of each member I'm referring to yes that's good then we go to mt1 mt1 So MT1 is for beams. MT2 for columns. Then we go again to track. Track. Track 2. close we'll come here click check code without this without this check code the software will not, able, will not be able to compare the results the output with code requirements so it's very very necessary you add it good then i will assign quickly This case Z1 is to all. Going to view. This one is also to view. This to view. This are my columns. I'll quickly select according to property. I can select by property name through this uh, attribute. Click attributes, property name by property. I want to select my column, which is this. Okay, close. Assign to selected. That's good. Okay, again. Property assigned to selected okay, again. Assigned to selected. I will select the beams attribute by proxy. My beam is this. I will assign to them. Sign again. Sign. Then this would is my brazings. Sign. Brazing. Sign. Okay. Then this uh, empty. T1 will be assigned to all my beams. I'm hold the control key down. 
to select all the beams yes The beams select sign. This one is all the columns. Okay, I will use another pattern. Select parallel to Y on the column. That's good. Sign this one is not selected to all the beams, so I'll do it again. It's not assigned to all the beams, so I'll do it again parallel to X and parallel to Z. That's good. I'll assign, sign them. Then this track 2 is to view all of them this check code is to view to view yeah this is the design parameters for strength design so we now do we run analysis yes as the analysis is going on I want you to pause now and subscribe to my channel you can not just be enjoying the video and be learning and be going without subscribing please subscribe and encourage me your subscription is an encouragement to me I see it as a support so it encourages me to bring more to to push more and post more videos that are educative on my channel please take this time now to subscribe thank you so you have a zero error zero warning that's okay so our 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 design does not have any problem so we can now go to post go to post processing modes for us to see check the outputs so from here i will uh, i will i will remove my prime pr all the primary loads yes i will leave only the combination load combinations I will leave only the load combinations here and click OK. So now, if this one is uh, showing me displacement, how the, the members have been displaced according to the load that is uh, active. So if you come to this one, you see support support reactions. This table, you click on summary, you see the, the maximum support reaction in Y direction 244, the maximum in FZ, and also maximum moment. M, MZ is 8.67, that's maximum moment. Yes, then this one also shows the load combination that gave the highest vertical force if you check you see is combination 34 strength design and this one shows the node as i'm clicking here you see where it's snapping this place is snapping so that's the node that has this highest vertical um force the reaction if you you can you can drag you can drag to open more to see the the load combination clearly this one is strength design load combination exactly that gave it gave the the highest uh, particle force as for reaction reaction if you click on select and pick on uh, on this text then you'll be able to move this box 
to be to see the support reaction clearer see them clearer yes that's good if you go to result you see the load combinations combination loads so anyone you click here you you check the support reaction values here will be changing so until you get the one that gives maximum changes per load combination changes per load combination as that if you want to do foundation design just pick the one for serviceability limit and use it for your commission design if you want to do overturning check you go for the load combination for overturning the one that will give you maximum moment you use it that's the essence of these load combinations each of them gives you different values of load for you to be able to consider your worst case scenario and do a proper design for foundation if we click on uh, mz mz shows the the bending moment diagram shows the bending moment diagram as you can see yeah Even the share force, we can as well show the share force. Okay, sorry, the share force uh, FY. This share force, you can as well display the values if you want. If you want to display the values, you can do that. FZ, FZ, uh, FX. These are what is obtainable. And then you can as well. Check our utilization ratio, which is the most important thing. Yeah. For our utilization ratio, you can come here. This is the displacement. You can see displacement values. Displacement values. We are having 0 0.0, 0 0.0, which is very good. Nothing, no, no big value here. We don't have displacement much. Okay, it's okay. Go back. This one is for reactions. Yes, we have done that. Um, go back again. Beam forces. Beam forces. So beam to film you can click the summary you see beam that column this one is column all of them are called beam is that pro then you can go back and uh, click again the utilization ratio yeah according to property under parameter one my property 200 Yes, as this column here, yeah. you get uh, design property is 200 HA, 200A, is the status is pass, actual ratio 0 0.114, very, very okay, passed, about it overpassed, yeah, allowable ratio is 1, yes, that's good. If you look at other ratios, you have 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, so it means even if we reduce the column size it can still go we can still reduce the column size the, the ratio here is small so we can reduce the column size yeah something like 140 and it will stay pass that's the design so okay now i want to i want to select some few objects that matter like my columns and my main beam village beam and the main beam and um, let me let me do that okay select by property by property i'll select all the column 
I'll view only column exactly this is the UC ratio for my column you see my columns are very very okay they overpassed like I said I can even reduce the section from 200 like to like 140 h140 okay we check uh, view return the whole structure let me check my main beam under select by property uh, my main beam is uh, main grillage beam the main beam sorry not grillage beam uh, view only view Yeah, my main beam 0 0.3, 0 0.2, 0 0.1, 0 0.4, 0 0.4. This one is okay. I will not even try, I will not reduce it because of this 0 0.4 I'm seeing here. It can still be reduced for that share, but I'm okay with this one. So let us check the other main member, the grillage beam, the one that my tank is resting on, and see how, how powerful it is, or how stressed it is. Yes, now go to select and click attribute property name by property. Uh, my grillage beam is uh, yes, that's my grillage beam. I'll close view, view into this one. Yes, so here you see 0 0.8, 0 0.8, 0 0.4. So this one is good. I'm not, I won't even reduce it. So this is this is the place that is carrying this beam. See, this, this is uh, the center one that carries a portion from here and from there is, is more stressed. 0 0.8. The same thing is what is happening here. So these are these ones are the external 0 0.4, 0 0.4. 0 0.4 so the result makes sense it's a very correct one it is even very 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 okay uh, so this is where the work is for so from here they transfer it to the to the to the main 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 main, uh, main beam so this is very 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 good so i can still take you to to output result um from output results you can see some output there yes these ones are the output results captures the date of model and everything the information input information yeah the actual weight of structure see the whole structure gave this that self weight consider self weight of minus one under dead load one self weight exactly so this is where you see all these ones you see all these ones the load applied um life load one life load two and um, load uh, load type four and life load there uh, all these things here it's here mm. This is used to be very very plenty. It can be about thousands of pages, so it is very big and massive. Yes, check for axial beam interaction. All these are outputs on on start row. Now we check for axial tension. So from here you can develop a report or from the other side from the post processing depends on how you want to combine and compile your report as an engineer you have seen the members they passed so you need to now present it in a way that it is readable 
so that when you, when you, when somebody picks up your reports you'll be, you'll be able to understand you know see everything clearly see the model see how you apply your load see yeah, i can still if anyone requests for for such report i can still give it to you but it will be on request you can hit me up through my whatsapp or any of my social media handle chat me up through there communicate with me make your request uh, you can send me a mail my gmail is on my channel just go to my channel browse to you will get a lot of information you need there so i think we are done with this one in our next class we are going to be doing a uh, we do we do deflection check yeah we're going to do deflection check apply deflection uh, parameters to check how this beam is going to deflect under this load sometimes the strength might pass and the deflection will fail it happens you see the strength will pass but the deflection will fail so next class we do that stay tuned and do not uh, forget to subscribe you can be you know if you're watching my video and then you are enjoying it please just subscribe like give it a thumbs up share with your colleague share with your friend and subscribe to encourage me thank you see you next time